Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Nah. Rest in 101, class is in session Pay attention to the teachings, that's from Andrew and Derek I mean these guys making the killing with no competition Dynamic duo better than the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys Everybody make some noise, mess with them, you get destroyed They cannot be beat, take a seat, watch them do they thing on the MIC Face defeat, they cannot be seen like JC Oh my goodness, it's in killing spree, yeah? and you are listening to Wrestling IQ 101. Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. When I'm not hosting our podcast, I'm usually at collarandelbowbrand.com. That's right, Collar and Elbow is the only place that combines wrestling with street attire. And I know what you're thinking, I want to look fashionable too, and I also want to save 10%. So head over to collarandelbowbrand.com and use the promo code WIQ101 and look fashionable and save some money. And now... On with the show. Hey guys, this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. If you want to listen to us, you can listen to us right here on YouTube or on iTunes. You can follow us on social media at Wrestling IQ 101. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And let's go to the interview. Hey guys, this is Andrew and Pat from Wrestling IQ 101. We're standing here with Homicide. How's everything going, man? Everything's good. You know, I'm just mucking out for this baseball stadium. I'm a big <laughs> baseball guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Who's your favorite team? Yankees, of oh, course. I'm God. the vampire. I'm a, I'm a Mets fan. Oh, myself. I feel bad for you. Yeah, we've had both two. We had two people that you've been really familiar with yes. on our on our show, uh, Monster Mac and and uh, Dan Moff. Yeah, they both suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love them, but hey, man. <laughs> you just went to war with them at WrestlePro. You went, yeah. and uh, how was how was it debuting in the Starland Ballroom for WrestlePro? Um, I think re debut. Oh, I think they did amazing. Um, I love violence. It's, it's be for real. I, I told my mother today, like, I'm bipolar. I'm a nice guy, but in the ring, I'm, a, I'm just a killer. So whoever hangs out with me, they could be killers. And his squad, and that, that day that happened, they tore the ring. Just chaos. Yeah. I loved it. So they need to go back and do something about violence again. I don't know if it's Reciprocal or any independent companies. And then talk about the 20th anniversary, you and um, uh, Loki got in the ring with the Bullet Squad. How was that steel cage match? And are you still feeling the effects of it? Yes. <laughs> um, well, I had like 12 staples in my head, so if technically I didn't really work, but I was there ringside. The, the man who took my place was Joker. Yep. He's a crazy, he's another one, <laughs> ex-military, you know. And, but, um, and even Kyle the Beast got in that action too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we hope it, um, we come back and I know Joker to Kyle the Beast. We're gonna have a match and that, that's gonna be really good. Um, so hopefully um, that's to be on the on the road. And uh, just talk about your thoughts on the new additions to LAX in Santana and Angel. Um, well, I started LAX. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, the end of 2005. So I'm I'm loving it. So Ten OTs, they they came from the same like city like me. They came from that gutter, that ghetto, you know, that struggle, and they got very passionate. Um, of course, young, everybody treated me like a mole or something. But I got to go ahead. But that's a different story. But uh, I think it's a great, uh, great addition with um, Damante, Cuban Diamond, and um, they, they got a bright future, man. They're very hungry, very passionate in the game, man. I love to see them, I guess. You know, the, everybody want the Young Bucks. Let's be real. Young Bucks <laughs> are the best tag team in the world. I get them their dues, you know. But um, I, lo- I love to see the Briscoe Brothers versus the, the new edition of LEX. It's, it's a different a different view, a different environment, and a fighting. I mean, me and Hernandez wrestled the Briscoe Brothers. I wrestled the Briscoes yeah. for a lot of fun. So the, I got respect for those bunch of rednecks. So <laughs> and, and they, Brody Lee and, and Necro Butcher, and they were around the time too at Jersey All. Yeah, Park. yeah, it was, it, <laughs> it, was, was lot of, it was a lot of chaos, man. <laughs> Necro Butcher, man, he scares me not because of his violence. He's a very uh, intelligent man. He's very <laughs> smart, and that's what scares me. As a matter of fact, we have big time wrestling. Mick Foley is the the main attraction of, of this autograph, and. The man is uh, a genius, and I'm scared of him. Yeah. He's like a hardcore Jesus Christ, but, but he's very smart, intelligent, and yeah. I mean, it's crazy, man, because I grew up watching you in the rec center of Rawway, and now here we are, big time event. You're a Jersey All Pro Hall of Famer and member of the G- GFW uh, roster, man. Just yes. want to say thank you 
for all this time. And, uh, oh, thank you for your support, bro. <laughs> and maybe we could do a formal interview sometime down the road. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thanks again for listening to Wrestling IQ 101. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wrestling IQ 101. You can still listen to us on YouTube or on iTunes. And thank you again for taking up the time, and we hope you enjoy that interview.